right, so this will be a video series uh, introduction. Uh, this will be a video series on set theory, and this will be uh, my first video. It's going to be uh, on set membership. Um, basically, before I get started, I kind of want to talk a little bit about what set theory is. Uh, basically, set theory is kind of just a study of, uh, well, sets, you know, go figure. But uh, it's really just, it's a branch of math that kind of has applications to every other branch of math. Um, set theory is kind of fundamental. You see sets in every advanced math that you'll ever see, that you'll ever study. Sets are everywhere. Uh, you know, you apply sets to group theory. Uh, you apply sets to topology. Um, they're really everywhere. They're kind of, kind of universal. And set theory is interesting not only in its application but also to study in its own right because there are a lot of uh, interesting problems that no one has um, solved yet in set theory. Uh, and that's why I find it to be a pretty interesting branch of math. And um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing this kind of concurrently with my Calc three playlist. So I'll have some videos which are you know Calc three based, and some are which are set theory. And then maybe sometime in the future I'll do one like on differential and partial differential equations. Uh, so basically, let's just get right into it. So basically, a set is really just a collection of objects. It's really typically it's numbers, but it can really be anything. Um, so we're, we're gonna focus on numbers uh, for the purposes of this video series because it just makes sense to do that. Uh, so, you know, we have set A, uh, usually you just, you know, write the name of the set, which is really just typically a letter, um, and you uh, have curly braces, and you have the elements inside the curly braces, so one, two, and three, uh, each one of those are an element of set A, and the way you basically say that uh, an element is a member of a set, you uh, basically just have... Uh, you just write down the element and you put this epsilon, uh, which is a Greek letter, uh, and then put the name of the set on the right hand side, you know, pretty straightforward concept. So one's a member of uh, set A and two is a member of set A. And then over here we have set B and then uh, we have four, five, and six. And we have, I said here that two is not a uh, member of set B. And how do you say not? Well, basically you just have an epsilon, you draw a slash through it, and that basically denotes the, that element is not a member of a set. Uh, pretty straightforward concept. And then over for set C, we have, you know, two-thirds, four I, and pi. And uh, here, you know, four I is actually a, a member of the complex set. Um, and so, you know, I just wrote the, the, the fancy C, which is, you know, for complex numbers. And, of course, pi is a real number. Um, it's, just, it doesn't, it's not a natural. It's not a rational. Um, so that, it, not rational. Uh, and so that pretty much um, are just kind of like uh, just some examples of really, you know, what set membership is all about. And in case you guys need a refresher, um, on uh, what the naturals with integers are, um, I'm going to go over that right now because I'm going to be using that extensively to kind of towards the middle of the playlist. Uh, so basically, it's important to understand what they are now, so I don't have to like review everything later. So basically, the naturals are you know all the typical numbers that elementary elementary school kids learn. So like you know one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth, just positive numbers. And then you have integers, which you know are negative infinity to positive infinity, and um, we have rationals, which kind of are all of those, um, plus, you know, rational numbers, which basically is, you know, any number that can be written as A over B, um, and where uh, A and B are both uh, natural numbers. And so that pretty much is uh, the, what rationals are. And then you have the reals, which are really any number you can think of that's not complex. And then uh, C is, of course, complex numbers. And um, that's not really, we're not really going to be focusing on uh, applications of set theory uh, so much until towards the end, but you'll see that uh, you can a lot of uh, problems uh, are very you you can state certain problems uh, better with set theory than you would uh, not using set theory, and uh, I'll give examples of that much later uh, in the video series, and you'll see exactly what I mean now. But basically, you'll you'll see exactly how useful uh, this branch of math is um, as, as as we go forward. So basically that kind of uh, wraps up what the set membership is all about and um, the next video will be on union and intersection. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.